morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a slightly mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. It's just the transports that are trading to the downside. They're off about 11 bucks, and they're trading out at 16.204, so virtually unchanged. The uh, Dow's not unchanged, up 55 points. S&P is up 8. NASDAQ 141. Russell's up 30. One point. That's a one and a half percent move. Semis are up 64, a one and four tenths percent there. Gold's off 11 bucks with silver being up 15 pennies. Holy shnikes. You got lights recruit off 19 pennies. Natural gas down two cents. 30 year treasury print out 119.15. That's off five ticks. Let's take a look at what this means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin upper left hand corner, the ES mini. What do we know about it? Well, it's trading at a new all time high today. Does not have any kind of a topping pattern other than today is likely going to become bar number eight of a TD nine count. That says that the ES mini could or should form a TD nine. 90% of the time, when you get a successful bar number eight, you'll go ahead and complete the pattern. But you still have to complete the pattern. We won't know that until the end of the session tomorrow. But it does say a TD nine count top could form between today and Wednesday. Now, the interesting thing here, spot volatilix is suggesting the same. Right now, you have the spot volatilix, 50-day exponential moving average at 13.53. And you have the spot politics trade at 1351. What's up with that? I don't know. But we're going to have to pay attention to it because if we see a spot politics close above its 50 day exponential moving average, that could suggest that we're about to see a change in trend inside of the SP 500 or the ES mini. Inside the NQ, it's only going to be day number seven for its count. So the only signal out there that it has a road momentum indicator that needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. Inside of the U.S. dollar index, it's testing the top of its daily profile at 104.11. Above that is descending trend line resistance. So you've got the dollar trading into resistance zone. Gold is trading below support. And support being both the bottom of its daily profile as well as a trading below trend line support out there. Now, a close below, let me just check this out. I think it's the low here from, let's see, that low was 2024.30. This is 2023.30. No. So 2023.30, if there is a close below that, now you know what we're going to do. We're going to use this candle right out here. My apologies. We're going to use the candle session from December 13th. If price closed below that low, which is 2,760, we'll see an A to B equals CD to downside. Folks, sorry that I didn't get through all of the normal charts here. I uh, just was uh, blubbering and blabbering. But uh, we'll cover these instruments, I'm sure, during the Trader's Edge show. So thanks so much for joining us. If you have to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.